Hello all, thanks for viewing. I wanted to share a few recent finds from Craigslist. The radio in front of you is a Crosley Model 718B. I think it's a pre-1938 or around 1938. This particular one, again, is a chassis 718. What makes the radio, I think, in my opinion, just a little bit unique is the cabinet. I think the radio was produced in two or three cabinets. Uh, this particular cabinet is an 8 H is in Henry. Uh, I think they referenced the radio as Modern 7. It does have a green eye tube, and I know the video is not that great, but uh, it's pretty cool. Again, it's five push buttons, and you see the three control knobs there, and the uh, beautiful louvered design of the cabinet. Uh, I think it's really, really neat piece. The veneer is separating from the top and a little bit on the side. And for those that have followed my videos, uh, you know I can handle that. So I'll put this on the old restoration list, and uh, maybe this spring or so I'll tackle the, uh, the cabinet and also the electronic side. In addition to the Crosley 718, I also picked up this beautiful Simplex radio from 1932. It's a model PB. It's an old farm set, and I think I've got just a couple farm radios in my collection. But I tell you, it's very, very unique. I love the design. I'm not sure of the rarity of the set. It does need some uh, TLC. There's some uh, chips and dings, and some of the veneer is loose or missing. So this one, again, will kind of challenge my woodworking skills and the cabinet itself uh, needs a lot of TLC. So I look forward to, uh, again, I'll add this one to the list and uh, in a future video I'll publish the, uh, the restoration on this or that would be my plans. The third radio that I actually purchased was a, a Silvertone. It's a little AM radio. Very, very Art Deco design with a phonograph. This particular one, I think, is a model 9073 Delta. Uh, the chassis on it is 135-243-2. I don't think the tone arm is original. If somebody's familiar with this set, maybe they could reply back to the video and let me know. So I haven't, uh, haven't plugged the unit in. Uh, supposedly it works. But, uh, Maybe I'll bring it up at some point in time. Look forward to the restoration on it. Again, it's a very, very cool looking piece and there's no uh, dings or anything in the cabinet. It just needs to be cleaned up. Again, I'll go through it electrically just to make sure it's uh, safe to play. And at some point I'll produce another video, hopefully with this uh, particular beautiful silver tone up and operational. Another find as well is this beautiful silver tone. It's a model 6050. I think it's from the 1940s. Probably not that rare. I think it is a unique set though. I love the bezel around the dial and how that extends as a fort back across the uh, speaker itself. Again, all the knobs are there. The back is in place. So I'm hoping this restoration itself, when I get ready to tackle, it will be straightforward. Wrapping things up is this 1949 radio. It's actually called the Tom Thumb. It was a bike radio. Very, very cool. It's made by Automatic. Model B44. It has a wrinkle finish. Kind of a uh, maroon dark red and it's really not in bad shape electrically it looks to be sound I can see where the old batteries themselves sometimes spilled a little acid out but I can clean that up inside it's missing the antenna I think I can find one that closely matches the original design and also the clamps on the bottom side of the radio that would allow you to fasten this to the handlebars. So I'll probably get this restoration done 
my brother-in-law is a big bike collector so this would be perfect once I get this thing up and operational get it restored throw it back on one of his bikes for that same period of time I think it would display well thanks again for taking time to view the video I appreciate it